What's up, you guys? Josh Tongley here. Today, I want to talk about how to believe it in, which is a powerful manifesting technique taught by Neville Goddard. Because once you understand who you really are and what actually exists within you and your imagination, then by the end of this, you'll be so pumped up knowing that you can bring any desire out of it by believing it into being. And you can learn more about this from Neville's 1969 message called Believe It In and his other various lectures. You see, the problem is that a lot of people don't realize that the objective reality of this world is solely produced by the human imagination. In other words, your life, Neville says, is nothing more than the outpicturing of your imaginal activity, where your imagination fulfills itself in what your life becomes. And he talks about a time when Robert Frost was alive, when he was interviewed by Life magazine and said, quote, Our founding fathers did not believe in the future, they believed it in, end quote. And I'll explain more on what that means in just a bit but they knew the power of belief. I mean, think about it. Everything begins with imagination, right? Like the clothes you're wearing, the chair you're sitting on, the place you live in, the device you're using to watch or to listen to this, everything, dude. Neville's point is imagining creates reality. And he straight up and is like, if you don't believe it, then you're just confused. Look, everything in your outer world, he says, was first subjectively appropriated. Translation, it all started, believe it or not, with your inner beliefs. That's why he says that the greatest thing you can do is to believe a thing into existence because then you'll be exercising the creative power that you are. You see, here's the thing. You're imagining all the time. There's no doubt about that. But here's a problem. Many times, though, you're not doing it consciously, which is when reality starts controlling you instead of you controlling reality. Where life can get frustrating at times and you're like, why is all this stuff happening to me? As if you play no part in it, whatsoever. Now, dude, one of the things Neville constantly emphasizes in his work is the fact that you got to stop seeing God as someone outside of you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people do. They think God is a separate being somewhere out there doing his thing, determining the fate of their lives, which is very disempowering, folks, and can also lead you to adopt a victim mentality. Listen, the eternal story, Neville says, is this. God became you that you may become God. You and God are one. Let that sink in. Okay, so what the heck does that mean? What difference does it make? Well, for example, according to Neville, to say I'm going to be rich won't make it happen. It ain't going to stink and work. Rather, he says that you got to believe riches in by claiming within yourself, I am rich. You got to believe in the present tense, not the future. Why? Because he says that the active creative power that you are is God. God is your awareness. And since God's name is I am, God can't say I will be rich or I was rich, but I am rich. So claim what you want to be aware of here and now and not one day. Because if you assume it, Neville says, with feeling, then your inward activity will be objectified in your outer world. In our lingo, it'll be manifested in your reality. Okay, but how do you manifest the reality that you want, right? Because remember, we're always imagining just not consciously. So let me break this down for you. And I don't think it'll do much to just tell you to have faith, you know what I'm saying? Because that would just still be pretty vague. So I want to refine this more. Remember, ultimately, I really want you to get this. Since consciousness is everything, it's always about moving into a particular state. It's not just about meditating or listening to binaural beats or whatever, but it's about shifting into a state you desire. Still with me? And since all things exist in the human imagination, and by that he means infinite states, then whatever it is you want to experience now, listen, already exists in you as a state of which you are its operant power. Folks, you make a state become alive in the sense that you enter and animate it in order for it to be expressed in your world. Now, don't misunderstand this. The states don't change, okay? They're always going to be there. However, you entering a state subjectively, that comes and goes. But then again, even if you lose a state you're in, like when you waver and get discouraged, the good news is Neville says that the state can be reanimated and brought back to life anytime through contemplative thought, which is why, once again, the greatest thing you can do is to enter a state and believe it into being. And I've talked about this before in my other video where I taught you how to shift into a state quickly using the I remember when technique. Now, I'm not going to go into all the details here because like I said, I already made an entire video on it that you can check out where I discuss a powerful vision that Neville had. But the gist of it is that you can literally put yourself into any state 
by remembering when. And don't worry, I'll have a link for you in the description, so just look it up. Anyway, the law is simple, folks. You reap what you sow, what you imagine your life becomes. Look, I remember when I struggled financially, for real, with things like rent, bills, school loans, etc. And it was tough at times, I gotta be honest. And the more I worried, get this, the more I struggled because of the state that I was in, a fear and lack feeling inadequate a lot of times. But as I learned these things that I'm teaching you now, thankfully it got easier and easier to enter the states of abundance and prosperity where I imagined ahead of the evidence and dude, everything shifted where I believed these states into being. And I'm just so grateful, you guys, for all the awesome things that are happening in my life right now. Seriously, where I'm just able to give more, I'm able to spend more and receive more. Why? Because of my awareness. The states that I'm giving life to, the things that I'm conscious of being, that's where it all begins, folks. Remember, signs follow. They don't proceed. And yo, what Neville said back then is still relevant for what's even going on now. Because he says that if you blindly accept and believe all the horrors of the world, things you see in the newspaper or on television or for us online, all the negative stuff the media constantly throws at you, then guess what? Your belief causes the horrors to continue straight up. It perpetuates it. It'll keep it going. Why? Because your awareness keeps things alive. Remember? So yet you're believing things in, that's for sure, but in a negative way. Is this making sense? That's why the best thing to do in many cases is to ignore all the fear-based stuff that's being put out there. You guys, put your attention, your awareness on what you want because that's what you'll manifest. You know what I'm saying? All right, real talk. Now, I don't know what you're going through. Okay, maybe you've lost your job or you're struggling with your health or with family or loneliness, whatever it is. I want you to know this, that whatever it is you quote unquote need already exists. It already exists within you. Remember, the whole vast world, Neville says, is now in your imagination. So the question is, what do you want? Seriously, know what you want. And then here's what you do. Create an image, a scene in your mind's eye that fulfills it. Or you can imagine, let's say, your friend's talking about it, your wish fulfilled. Create whatever scene that'll help you feel the reality of it all. You want to imagine ahead of your evidence in order to believe it in. And yo, don't be swayed by what you see or what your senses tell you. Neville says that if you assume the feeling that what you want is already yours, and if you persist in that assumption, the invisible state will produce the objective state, and your desire will become your reality because you get what you believe. Yeah. Don't try and predict the future, folks. Believe it in and create it. Boom. Alrighty, guys. If you enjoyed this, please do me a favor. Like and share it. Or if you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, help spread this message. And I'd love to hear your experiences and questions in the comments below. I read them all. And yo, if you haven't yet, Hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. And don't forget to register for my free online training where I dive deeper into how you can start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.